Hey everyone, um, I recently uh, went upstairs into my attic loft um, and um, I found a few uh, gems that I completely forgot that I had. Um, I think I've mentioned one of them in the past but um, I just thought I would showcase them because there was some really cool stuff that I found. I'm going to start off and, and stay to the end because there's one that I'm going to show off which I think is pretty cool. Um, the first thing is uh, flashback. Um, this is on the 3DO. Um, I don't even have a 3DO, so I don't know why I bought it. Um, and I bought it a long time ago. Um, I think I plan to get a 3DO at some point. Um, but uh, I think that I looked it up on eBay and there's one going at the moment for about, about 90 pounds. So I just, I was like, wow, I did not expect this to be uh, as expensive as that. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty good condition. Um, I just, uh, I honestly completely forgot I had this because I had it on the Mega Drive many years ago, uh, the Genesis for those of you in the, in the US. Um, and yeah, I remember really enjoying it, but I don't know why I bought it on the 3DO. I think I bought it many years ago when I used to do the, the retro corner and so forth with Larry. Um, so yeah, that's a flashback on the 3DO. Um, <clears throat> the one that I thought though was really, really interesting um, is this. Um, this is Psychic Detective uh, on the 3DO again. But what's really interesting about this is that it's sealed. Um, I don't know how well this is going to come. Oh, come. Oh, it's, not, it's not focusing for some reason. Um, I'll just kind of leave it there. Yeah, no, it's focusing. Um, you can see it's sealed. It's, it, the, the wrap, I need to protect it better. But you can see this is <clears throat> completely sealed. I would have bought this about 20, 20, maybe 20 years ago, I don't know. Uh, but it came out in uh, April 1996, this game. So this game has been sealed for you know almost 30 years. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I do actually wonder, I wonder if I'm the only person in the world with a, a sealed psychic detective on the 3DO. Um, I actually would really love it on the PlayStation because I, I would actually like to play it, but I don't have a 3DO. Again, I think I was probably planning to buy 3DL for doing retro stuff, uh, but it never happened. Uh, and so it still remains sealed. I would have probably opened it. Um, now, I had a quick look on eBay to see how much this might be, um, but all I could see was um, ones that were not sealed and they were going for around about 80 pounds to uh, 120 pounds. So I wonder what this sealed um, psychic detective would go for. And as I said, I need to get something to protect it uh, so that it has no further kind of degradation, would the word be? Um, because yeah, it's, it's very, very delicate. But I thought that was cool. Again, I don't have a 3DO and I don't generally collect 3DO stuff, but I have th two 3DO games for some reason. The next up is a, uh, well, some of these are just uh, uh, just normal PSP games. So I've got Metal Gear. I found this in the loft, uh, uh, Portable Ops. Um, Hot Pixel, this is sealed. Um, you'll hopefully be able to see. It's a nice sealed sealed version in its, in its wrapper. Um, I don't think it's worth a lot. Um, me and my Katamari on the PSP, sealed as well. Uh, let's see if I can, yeah, there we go, I can showcase it. Um, this uh, would have been one I got sent to me. Um, probably just never got round to playing it. Um, I don't know if it's something that you've played. Uh, I played the one of the ones on the, is it, we love Katamari on the, on the PlayStation 2. That was fun. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. I would have been sent this, by the way. Um, I don't think I bought many PSP games. I'm going to show some more really unique ones off in a moment. Um, I think everyone's got Locker Rock Wheel. Um, but I think this one's really interesting. This is The Warriors, uh, and it's sealed. Now, I've seen it listed between uh, around about 100, uh, 120 pounds to 270. That's, that's a big variation on eBay. Um, so yeah, this is this is um, completely completely sealed and in absolutely top quality condition. Um, 
Now, if you're wondering, why haven't you just played it at some point? I have, and I'll, I'll kind of, um, not this one, obviously, uh, but you'll, you'll see later on. So, so again, I just thought that was really interesting that I found that. Oh, just really quickly, um, Portal uh, on the PS3. I found that, Portal 2, sorry, on the PS3. I forgot that I had that. That's a promo. Um, I found it in the loft just among, amongst CDs. So that was cool that I found that. I completely forgot that I had it. So, um, these are promo PSP games. Uh, and I've got a lot of them, so I'm going to start kind of trying just to quickly go through them. Um, I didn't even know that I had Ghostbusters, the video game, PSP. Is that more like the PS2 Wii version, or is it more like the 360 uh, PS3 version? But I got that. That's a You can see promo. Oh, no, let me make it so it's a bit easier to see. Promo only, not for resale. Um, let me just start going through these, and I can put them back in. Uh, I've got a lot of, uh, I've got Pro Evo 2011, that's a promo version um, as well. These are all promo versions. Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2010, thank you Konami. Never sent me Silent Hill ones though. I would have loved the Silent Hill ones because I think they're worth a fortune, aren't they? Anyway, can't, I shouldn't complain. Loco Rocco 2, again, promo version. Um, Echo Drone. I don't even know what Echo Drone was. A, was it a puzzle game? I can't remember it. I can't remember it. Pursuit Force Extreme Justice. I actually remember playing that. I actually quite liked that. It was the one where you jump around from car to car, shooting people. Um, <laughs> always fun. Uh, Mod Nation Racers. Um, I don't even know what that is. Do you build your own car and race it? Don't know. Uh, I can't remember playing that one. I've got my PSP somewhere. I just don't know where it is. It's somewhere in the loft up in the attic. Um, ATV Off-Road Fury Pro. Again, um, I don't even know who made that. Who made that, does it say? It's got some German. I don't, yeah. Uh, Sony, I don't know who made it. If you know, let me know. ATV off-road races. Uh, Everybody's Golf 2. Um, cool, man. I didn't even know I had this. I like playing a golf game, you know. Uh, I, sh I should do some videos on some golf games maybe at some point. Maybe PlayStation 1s uh, or something. I have to think. Which one would be? Ah, oh, I know. I'm going to do one in my Japanese, but uh, collection of games. But I'm going to keep that as a surprise for now. Echo Shift. I don't know what that is. Um, is it another puzzle game? I can't remember. I don't remember every game uh, that I've played on PSP. In fact, I don't even remember playing the PSP that much. I don't have many memories of playing it. Jack and Daxter: The Lost Frontier. Again, promo. If, if any of these are worth money, just let me know. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like just selling everything, and then other times I'm like, no, I should keep these around. For what, what, you know, why, why get rid of them? What's the point? Beautiful Joe. Um, Red Hot Rumble. I liked it when it came in these little nice little promo, um, these little promo uh, sleeves. Um, yeah, as it says in there. Not for resale. I've never played it. I don't think I've ever opened this one. It doesn't look like it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's still got the tape on it where I've not, I've never even opened it. Should have played them, but I was just so busy at the time. Um, it's not a good excuse, is it? Games are meant to be played. Ultimate uh, Goose and Goose, or Goblins, sorry, Goose and gob Ghost, oh, the, that word, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, Capcom game. Again, it's in a nice little sleeve. Um, I've got another one as well. Oh no, sorry, two uh, Capcom collections, uh, or one Capcom collections. That's that one. I oh, know I do have two Capcom collections, yeah. So I've got Capcom's collection reloaded. Um, 
Oh, that's got it's got a back. I've never I've never opened this. Never opened it. It's just sat there in a box, you know. I don't know. It's not really a good thing, is it? I'm sure. The thing is, people can just nowadays can't they? They they all they were able to just they hack their PSPs. You can play everything, right? So. Um, I don't think anybody would want any of these things really, maybe anymore, apart from maybe collectors. But I don't know how many people actually like promo versions of games. I don't know. Secret Agent Clank um, on the PlayStation Portable. I didn't even know I had that. That's a Ratchet and Clank game, right? So, uh, cool. Um, maybe I should actually get my PSP out and play it. Um, I'm sure it still plays really well. The Sims 2 Pets. Uh, again, never op never opened, a bit dirty now, but um, give an animal friend to your Sims. Donnez a companion de jouer a vos Sims. Yeah. Lovely stuff. Uh, and a few, I've got a really cool couple of games coming up. Uh, Patapon, I think a lot of people had that. I don't have the sleeve for that for some reason. Let's be careful with that. Little Big Planet. Again, obviously I've played that because I've lost the sleeve. Miami Vice the game. Oh, there you go. Miami Vice the game on PSP. Wow, I didn't know I had this one. Uh, God of War, Chains of Olympus. I didn't even know I had this. Was it good? Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if any of these games are games that you've played in the PSP, if they're your childhood, you have memories of them. I always like reading people's comments. It's nice, um, especially when they're nice, you know, nice positive comments about uh, nice nostalgia things. Siphon Filter, uh, Logan Shadow. Uh, it's a game where uh, Logan from Splinter Cell is scared of his shadow, uh, so he keeps running away from it. It's a really interesting, or maybe it's about Pla Pla Plateau's cave. That, maybe that's really what it's about. Be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, and Buzz Master Quiz. But two more, two more. These ones I, I remember being really happy to get. Crisis Core promo version on the uh, PSP. What you'll really like about this is you can see I've opened this one, I've played it. Um, it's got the release date on there and online embargoes were, sorry, the online review was embargoed until the 13th of June, 2008. Uh, the day after my birthday. So I would have probably been playing this on my birthday um, in, in 2008, that's a long time ago. It's a long time ago, isn't it now, so, wow. Cool one though, I think. Final Fantasy, um, and, this one. Um, now I think that this one, this, oh no. Oh, by the way, in terms of Crisis Core, I think I saw a promo version of this game uh, on eBay for about 42 pounds. It was in Spain. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was cool. I think it was a promo one. So about 40 odd pounds. I, I, don't, I don't know what it is about a promo version that people will find more Maybe because it's just more unique, but I, I I would rather have it in the box, personally. But you know, the, the, this is just how they were sent. I've got it in this this kind of little bag. All these little PSP games, um, the Warriors. So uh, this is the one that I would have played. So um, the Warriors on PSP. Now I've seen this one, not this exact one, but uh, a version of this on eBay for two hundred and 50 pounds, 250 pounds. So for some reason, people would pay more for this, although this, this one was 120 to 270, but someone was trying to sell this for 250 pounds. 250 pounds. Um, I mean, that's cool and everything. I just don't understand why. Um, so this is what it looks like. Cute though, aren't they? Those little discs. I, I think so. I think they're really cute. But yeah, so these are two. These are some really cool things that uh, that I think. Um, I mean, again, I wonder if I'm the only person in the world who's actually got a sealed copy of this game. 
I wonder how much it's worth. If it's worth what was it? A hundred, eight between eighty and one hundred and twenty people trying to get for it used. Um, I wonder how much it is new. I don't, I wouldn't say that there's a, a thing where you go and double it. That doesn't even make sense. Um, I mean, I'd I have contemplated on selling all of these things because I'd really like to go to Japan next year. Uh, and if I go to Japan, I'm going to probably spend loads of money. Not next year, maybe the year after. I can't afford it. Um, but if uh, if I do go to Japan, I really want to to kind of get some really kind of unique stuff. I really want the uh, um, the PlayStation One, the train denture to go, um, or the jet to go, or whatever they're called. I want I want the I want the flight stick and the train thing. <laughs> I don't know why, just weird. Um, but yeah, I thought these are really cool. Um, I, what's the ones that you think is the most interesting out of all of those? Um, I'm going to show off, not show off. That's I, I'm going to showcase some of my um, promo Xbox 360 games at some point uh, in the in the future because I think I've got some really cool stuff that maybe people would like to see. Some of that stuff is sealed as well. Um, anyway, there we go. Uh, Psychic Detective on the 3DL. I don't have a 3DL. A whole bunch of PSP games. Um, I just just found them in my loft whilst I was looking for something else. Uh, I was just looking for some of my PlayStation One games. Um, and uh, yeah, came across those. So I thought I'd share them. Love to know your thoughts in the comments and uh, I will be silly before uh, now and then I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>